Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Although it's not officially fall yet, I want to share with you my fall sewing plans. When it comes to fall, I am obsessed. I love the fall weather. I love seeing the fall trees in the United States, um, especially any trees that uh, change colors and all of that. It's just, I love the decorations of the season. I love the fabrics. I just love fall. It's my favorite season. So I sew the most, like, Throughout the year, um, I sew more frequently in fall than I do any other seasons. So I'm really excited for the fall season and I want to share with you some of my fall fabrics as well as some of the patterns that I want to sew for fall. So this will be the first part of my fall sewing plans. I will have a part two come out maybe in September um, as I uh, get to the end of this list and I've finish up sewing all of this, I will then go ahead and uh, share with you what I intend to sew next in the second part of the, or the later half of fall. So let's go ahead and get into today's video. And I want to share with you my fall fabrics as well as patterns that I want to sew for the season. So I want to go ahead and start with this new look pattern, the new look 6107. So I have been sewing this. And if you've watched my video, uh, what I've been sewing and my my summer sewing makes you are familiar with uh, this pattern you know that I've made this pattern recently and I showed you in that video a few uh, variations that actually I only made I only made one variation um, but I intend to make more and as I uh, mentioned in the video as soon as I received the mood fabrics I was going to make more the fabric that I want to use for my next two variations is this beautiful fabric here. So this is a mood exclusive fabric. It's a cotton sateen. So it's a medium weight fabric. And I purchased one yard of this because I purchased it specifically for this pattern here and it only calls for one yard of fabric. So I'm really excited to uh, make something with this. This is called the Scratch Cotton Sateen ivory floral passing of and it cut off but it's the passing of adonis so that is the fabric here and it's so beautiful and look at all those gorgeous fall colors i love this piece i had another piece um, i think it's like a two and a half yard piece that i was going to make a dress with but it's still in my stash and i decided i'm going to still sit on that for a little while because i don't know which pattern I want to sew with that. So I am just going to make a skirt with this one here and I'm going to make this new look skirt. And since I've already made it, I don't have to make any changes or anything like that. I can just wash my fabric and jump right into it. So this may be uh, completed by the end of this, this week. Next, I have this beautiful fabric here. And as you all know, I've talked about this fabric as well on the channel quite a bit. I just recently purchased the Voile fabric in this, uh, this beautiful colorway here. And this one is the cotton sateen variation. And again, I purchased a yard of it. And although I already have a skirt, I have a pleated skirt in this same fabric i wanted a pencil skirt so that way when i wear my tops that match this i can kind of choose what kind of silhouette i want if i want a fit and flare type look um, or if i want a you know more of a sheath dress type look to go with this and so i decided to go ahead and purchase another yard of that and so that is my plan for uh this new look 6107 these two are set in stone i am going to be working on these this week so i know i am going to get this done some of these plans throughout the video i'm not quite for certain about some of these so throughout the video i'll talk a little bit more about what i intend to do with those but again, I'm not quite for certain on some of these. So that is what I'm doing with this though. Another thing that I know that I'm sewing for certain this fall is this Mimi GS9894 pattern with this gorgeous linen type fabric that I purchased from Joanne. 
and I love this fabric. It is very light in weight, so it is appropriate for fall, but it will not be appropriate for winter. Uh, so I am really excited to do this though because of the color. It is such a gorgeous color. And so I really want to make the longer maxi version. And if you've been following me, you've been watching my videos, you know I just made a denim variation. Um, I also just made a floral variation, but I didn't get to share that one yet. Uh, but I have been making a few of these variations. I also made a tan and black spotted variation and I showcased that one in my last video as well. And so I did work this pattern. I really do like the pattern. By the time I put this pattern away, I probably would have made it about four or five times. And so I would definitely be able to give you an honest and detailed uh, pattern review. So stay tuned for that. Next, I want to make a really simple skirt with this Berta 6612 pattern. This is supposed to be a super easy skirt. I did a mock-up of it because I wanted to make sure that it could fit me in the hips, and it did. It was a really great uh, size, and I think I chose the size 18, I believe. And so it, it really is a really nice skirt. The only thing I didn't really like is that the waistband is a really long waistband. So you don't have like a front and a back waistband. You're, you just have one really long waistband. In the back of your garment, I don't think they give you a back view on here, but on the back of the garment, you do have like a button. So the waistband overlaps in the back and you have a button and a buttonhole that you're going to be placing on your waistband. And so you do have that for the top closure of your waistband and then you have a back zipper. So it is a really nice pattern, but I don't really know if I like the waistband, how long it is. I prefer to have two separate pieces for my waistband, but I mean, it's a really simple pattern and it should be something that will be just quick and easy to, to make. I decided to go with this beautiful stretch crepe fabric. Now, even though the name of this fabric is a stretch crepe, it does not have that much stretch to it. Um, as you can see here, I'm pulling on it and it's not really giving a lot. And so that's why I chose this for the project. This does not call for stretch fabrics at all, but as you have seen, it doesn't really have much stretch in this fabric at all. So I am going to make a variation of view A. I will probably lengthen my garment so that it's about three, maybe even four inches below my knee because I have the fabric to do so. And so I'm thinking about doing that. If I don't make this, I will probably make something similar. So if I don't make this, I will most likely make this here view C. It has pockets and so that's one of the reasons why I'm leaning towards this one. Uh, I do like the idea of having pockets in my skirt and so I may even lean more towards this one here. So that is my plan for this and this fabric as I mentioned before is a stretch crepe. I purchased it from Mood. I purchased one yard of it and it's super wide. So I think this is like a 62 or 60 inch wide fabric. It is really wide and even though and even though they have like this wide um, selvage edge here you still get quite a bit of width here i mean it is super wide so i really like that and that's one of the reasons why i'm thinking about changing my mind and going with this pattern here instead of this pattern because i can use more of my fabric with this pattern so that's kind of where i'm leaning towards um with this fabric here simply because because i will have because I have so much fabric and width, I can use that fabric with the pockets and things of that nature and the pocket facing. And so I'm leaning more towards this one so I can use all the fabric. So this is a gorgeous fabric. And let me see if I can find the name of it for you. 
Okay, so here are the details here. It's a stretch polyester crepe on black and orange floral. Uh, here is the item number here. So I don't know much more in terms of like the name, but there's the item number just in case you want to purchase some of this gorgeous fabric. It's on a black background. And as you can see, you have your beautiful orange, cream red and blue floral details on here i really like the orange and the cream colors um even the red because it's so fall to me and i'm really excited to um to sew this so now i'm going to go ahead and switch gears now that i talked about the skirts i want to talk about some of the tops that i want to make you'll notice that throughout this video there is a theme not only am I using fall fabrics, but I'm also using uh, fabrics that kind of match one another because I'm creating a capsule wardrobe. And so as you have seen with the Mimi G skirt that I want to make, it is a rustic orange uh, solid color. And here you have the rustic orange color uh, floral designs with this one here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and switch over so you can see some of the tops and kind of see how I am thinking about uh, matching these pieces together. Okay, so for the first top, I want to make something with this uh, gorgeous rib knit fabric. So this is also like a rustic orange color. And this fabric I purchased from Hobby Lobby last year. And I have about two yards of that. And I want to make either this Berta style 6331 pattern. And it is a cute little wrap top. And if I were to make this, I would definitely make the variation that have the flounce around the neckline and the flounce on the sleeves. Because I think it's really fl flirty and cute. And as you can see here, this will match this here so i think those would pair really well together this will also match the skirts pat the skirts that i'm going to be uh, making as well so let me show you so here is the first piece that i'm going to be making with that new look skirt that pencil skirt and here is the second piece here. So that's what I intend to do with this fabric here. So that's one idea. The other idea is this McCall's M8344, and I would make this variation here. I love that they have gathering on the sleeves, and so I would definitely choose this. And like I said, I don't know which one I'm leaning towards, but I do wanna make a knit top. It's been a while since I made a knit top, so I want to go ahead and do that. For my second solid top, I want to make something with this beautiful rayon shelly. This was purchased from Minerva. And I'm thinking about making this top pattern here. And again, this color, this red color, is going to go with the rest of my capsule wardrobe that I'm creating here. So as you can see here, there's red in this, uh, this print here. So I can definitely wear that with that as well. There's also the possibility of me wearing it with this to kind of bring out some of the reddish orange flowers here. I don't think I would like to match it with that. I don't think that that would match well but I could probably even do something like this. So there, there, there is some, some opportunity here to kind of mix and match these items in my wardrobe here with uh, these prints that I have selected. I forgot to show, share with you one more skirt pattern that I am going to be sewing to go with this capsule wardrobe and the top will also go with that skirt. So it is this beautiful print here. And I just showed you all this beautiful print in one of my fabric hauls just recently. And I absolutely love it. And that's a cotton sateen. And that's from Mood. And the name of that one is 
It's a stretch cotton satin on black and pink floral, and it's a mason. I think it's like a, it's called mason um, bouquet or something like that. But absolutely love that. And I'm going to do this McCall's 7253. And again, this would look good with that as well. But I also have a voil uh, top that I have been sewing that will go good with this. So I've been sewing the Vogue V 2031, which you all know I've been, you know, sewing that throughout the summer. And I'll share with you what I have done so far with that. So it's still underway. So just keep in mind, I'm not quite <laughs> finished with it, but this will also be part of that capsule wardrobe and I can wear this with the rustic orange skirt or I can also wear it with this cotton sateen skirt as well. So this is what I have done so far. I haven't put on like the, the button placket or the sleeves or the collar and collar stand. So I still have to get all that done, but I am working on it. And I just wanted to share with you all how this capsule wardrobe will look with some of these fabrics. So like I can definitely wear that with it as well. I also want to sew this new uh, Simplicity pattern. This is from the fall collection. This is the Simplicity 3002. And I want to make either this variation or some, some kind of variation with the buttons being seen. I don't think I like the conceal button placket as much. I would rather sew this variation here, but look at those sleeves. That is so gorgeous. So I think I'm going to use this cotton voile here for that. So I think that's going to be quite lovely. And again, that rustic orange skirt that I intend to make with the Mimi G Simplicity pattern would go just lovely with this here so i'm excited to see how all that come together i have one more pattern that i intend to sew this fall and i want to share with share that with you real quick before i close out the video so i've been working on this pattern throughout the summer and i've been doing quite a few mock-ups of this and i'm finally at the point where i think i want to go ahead and sew it and i want to use this fabric here so I've already washed the fabric. That's why, it, that's why it looks that way. But this is so gorgeous. I absolutely love this fabric. It's a rayon chalet fabric. And I'm thinking about using this fabric for uh, this pattern here or this pattern here. So I haven't quite decided if I want to go with this look here or if I want to sew this look here and i would definitely make the version without the handkerchief hem uh, i probably would lengthen this so that i could have more of a longer style because i have the fabric to do so but i just don't like the handkerchief options there so i haven't decided which one of these i want to sew but i definitely want to sew a dress before the end of this season because i love dress patterns those are all the things that I want to sew for the first part of the fall season. As I mentioned in the earlier part of the video, I do want to do a second part because I have so many fall fabrics that I want to sew. I didn't get a chance to sew many of them last year. This year, I really want to zero in and get many of those fabrics out of my stash and try to sew and create another uh, wardrobe for myself. So anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, what you think of my fall plans. And if you have any plans that you want to share, please go ahead and comment in the comment section below. I will talk to you all in the next video. Hope you all have a happy and blessed sewing week. And until next time, stay creative, everyone.